Hey riders, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Today I have a sit down video. I have a get ready with me sort of a makeup therapy type of video. So stay tuned and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of this look. So let's get started. Space suit on, can't breathe this air TNT going off in here Ain't we? Okay, riders, so let's get this video started. So I am going to be going in with this gel. I got this from Renberg. Um, I can't remember where, but it was 50 bucks. And if you guys are not new to my channel, you will know that this is my go-to. This sets my brows and um, it gives them that defined upper stroke look that I like and also that natural brow that I like. So yeah guys, um, I wanted to do this makeup therapy video because I haven't really been uh, okay. Um, I've just been going through some stuff, you know, um, there's a lot of things happening in my life and there's just a lot of changes also that have been happening, you know. Um, so it's just been over, I've just been overwhelmed actually with, um, with everything that's been happening, you know, when it comes to my personal life and when it comes to my work. And as you guys know, I am a content creator and I am also a full-time nine-to-fiver. Um, it's not always easy having to juggle the two, but obviously um, they both uh, take different priorities, you know. During the day, I do my nine to five and I concentrate on that fully and I love what I do and I love my and I love my career. And also, I also love content creation, guys. I love content creation and um, I've been fortunate enough to have such an amazing support and I've been fortunate enough to build an amazing online community such as yourselves you guys have been truly truly amazing and um throughout the years of my journey into the content creation space so um as you guys know i started back in 2012 and i started with a blog <laughs> during tumblr days um yeah so i i can say that was that was my first first step into into content creation and I've never looked back I've loved it since I mean obviously back then blogging was different because it required more writing and which is something that I also love I love writing um, writing is what I used to do on a daily you know what I mean and just to express my thoughts and to express the things that I see express the things that I experience so it has been quite an amazing journey and also having to transition into Instagram from blogging um, has also been uh, it was quite challenging at first but I am totally totally obsessed um, right now <laughs> um, as you guys know with content creation so um, I mean it wasn't always easy stepping into content creation because I had to build my Instagram community from the ground up because most people also know me I mean from Tumblr days so those people also transitioned with me into Instagram and that's how I got to build my online community and um, you know it's been quite an amazing interesting journey and to also getting my first paying gig in 2016 was so surreal to me and ever since then I've never looked back um, it's, 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 it's become more than just a, um, a career, uh, for me, it's become such a home, you know, and, um, with the online community that I have built has just been so, so amazing, you know, and, um, also being a mom, you know, uh, became a mother. <laughs> um, if you followed my journey, I became a mom and that also, you know, is 
a job on its own. So it just does get overwhelming sometimes and you literally just feel like you are about to drown, you know, and um, it's, it's work, it's being a mom, you know, um, it's, be, it's, it's trying to be a good friend, um, you know, it's, it's just, it just gets overwhelming sometimes, you know, um, but I always try to make sure that I stay grounded and I stay focused on what's more important, you know what I mean, and um, yeah, so although, yeah, sometimes I do get days where I just feel like I just don't want to do anything, I get days where I just feel like I just want to sit by myself and not do anything and there's times where I just feel like I just wanted to just be me and my daughter and we just you know um, (laughs) do the most just by ourselves you know this life thing is not easy and um, so I just thought that I would do this makeup therapy tutorial because I love makeup makeup is something that I discovered actually properly in uh 2018 although i used to do my cousin's faces and my friend's faces back in varsity but um i i think i started learning properly properly how to do makeup in 2018 and even back then it was not so great um i feel like my makeup skills have quite improved you know what i mean um and i'm quite happy <laughs> i'm quite happy and i love 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 doing my friends faces and um my sister as well i do her makeup a lot you know um so i just thought i would just doll myself up and just look pretty and cute you know um yeah because yeah i was just feeling so down guys and so overwhelmed you know um yeah Yeah, I'm ten tied, twisted around your finger like a piece. But anyway, guys, I hope I am making sense. <laughs> Even though I feel like uh I'm just speaking gibberish, you know. Um, and you know sometimes when you're venting, you just everything just comes at once and you can't say or put it into so many words because a lot is on your mind. You know what I mean? But um, I find comfort in knowing that um, I pray about it, you know, and even though sometimes I, my relationship with God is just, it's, it has its ups and downs. I get days where I get so upset with him, you know, um, but not long because he is a God with a plan and he knows what he's doing and he knows your will and he knows what's best for you and um he knows what is just good for you you know and i can definitely say that he has never failed me um you know even though at times there are times where i felt like i am giving up and i'm just i can't do it he just always comes he just always comes through for me you know and um he's he he's just he just always surprises me you know And that's why I try by all means to keep the faith and to stay faithful in him and just stay faithful in life, stay faithful in myself and not give up on myself no matter how tough it gets. And I feel like we as humans just need to try and do that, you know, and I know, I know uh, it's been a pandemic It hasn't been easy uh, trying to stay positive, you know. um, I still get very, very anxious, especially, especially now um, during these new variants. You don't know what is going on. You don't know what's in store for tomorrow. Um, You know, we're still sort of living in the world of the unknown. But um, like I said, I try by all means to stay positive to keep strong, to stay positive for my daughter because she needs me to be positive. She needs me to be strong, you know, and I am fortunate enough to have an amazing support system, you know, and um, 
a lot of people, some people don't have that, you know, and um, it's just, it's just how this life thing is, man, and we just have to try make the best of it, you know what I mean, um, I've been hurt by a few things that have happened in my life recently, but I'm trying to look into the future with a positive outlook, you know, um, and try not to dwell in anger and try not to dwell in the hurt, you know, and um, just letting go and letting God and just staying positive, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, so I'm almost close to finishing my makeup look. Guys, please excuse my lashes i don't i don't know what is going on um it my left my left lash looks a bit heavier than the right lash so please don't come for me in the comment section when it comes to the hat please guys i beg you um i don't know what was going on i i don't know i don't think these lashes are the same i don't know i don't know but um yeah so i'm just gonna go in into my inner corner of my eye and my tear dud and just to give myself that beautiful sparkle and to also open up my eyes a bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial even though I was talking gibberish throughout and just venting to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you guys think about it and um, yeah let me know how you guys are, let me know how you're feeling um let's just try to be positive man let's just try keep the faith in god and just just live you know life is short we only live once and i think during this pandemic we have all learned that but yeah guys so enjoy the rest of the final step of my makeup look and thank you so much for joining me Mwah. Okay guys, so there you have it. The final, final makeup look. I hope you guys love it. I think it's so sexy. I think it's so like sultry and, uh, you know, a bit seductive and, um, you know, very also like classic, classic baby, classic, okay? <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of this look. And let me know if you'll be trying this look at home. And um, yeah, it was also good to vent to you guys um, about some of the things that I've been going through. But like I said, we just need to be stronger and we just need to just keep going, you know, uh, no matter how down we feel. Um, talk to your friends or talk to your loved ones or just pray about it. You know, that is what I do most of the time. I just pray about it or just reach out to my girls or just reach out to you know my loved ones or you know so um yeah it's not easy this life thing is not easy and um we're just trying to make the best of it you know what i mean so anyway i hope you guys loved this video thank you thank you so much for joining me uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe i think i've already said that but yeah thank you guys Mwah. have a beautiful beautiful week